Hey y'all, this is a get ready with me, so stay tuned. We don't run it, pull up. get ready with me also it's gonna be a little by the title you could tell i'm gonna get into it because i feel like it you know it, it's no reason to hold stuff in so i'm trying to be more out there you feel me i'm trying to after this video i think doing a summer playlist so that's probably up by now so y'all check that out because i'm lit yeah i usually do my lashes first so i'm gonna do that um, and then I don't know if I want to do like heavy makeup you know found I don't really use foundation I use foundation on some part of my face but that's pretty much it I usually do you know the contour stuff but not like a dramatic contour y'all I finally got a makeup bag I'm so happy with myself um I'm gonna use this again. I only used it like two times. Somebody was like, Talk about why you don't like being light skinned. Why you don't think you're light skinned. And I'm like, People, people aren't gonna hear that, but hey, I'll say it now. Y'all, I don't hate being light skinned. Light skinned. First of all, let me disclaimer. Um, nobody trying to be controversial. I'm not saying light skinned. Or dark skinned people or any type of skin people are bad in any type of way. I really don't care. It'll be something personal for me and then somebody out there might feel it. So, whatever. I don't hate being light skinned. I really don't. I hate what comes with it. And it's going to sound crazy to some people, but I don't care. But people want to think, want to assume. They think we stuck up. They think we're mean. They think we could pull anybody. No. No. And then when they meet, like when they actually like have a conversation with me, they're like, oh, you actually cooler than I expected. And I'm like, what is that supposed to mean? And then my friends like to joke about it. Shade into everything. And people like to bring shade into everything and I'm sick of it. Like my friends, they want to, you know, they know how I am. They be like, you know you light skin or whatever. Look at your ankles. Don't talk about my ankles. I'm sensitive. I know they light, but I'm trying to get sunlight. I'll be good. Like my friends know I hate being labeled as a light skin. My mom, she knows I don't like it. And she still, she, you're, you're light. You're light. I mean, I know. But I'm trying to, you know, get people out of that mindset. Like, stop segregating everybody. Stop, you know, separating everybody based on their looks. Like, I hate that. Because what Drake say? I'm light skin, but I'm still a dark nigga. Why you guys doing this? I am not this skin. But then they think because you light skin, you can't do nothing like hands on. They think you can't fight. Like they think we so dainty. Like, oh, she ain't gonna mess with nobody. Yeah, okay. They think we not, you know, woke. I'm one of the most woke people out here. Like, little do y'all know. Or maybe y'all do know. I don't know. My mother calls me militant. She called me that forever since I can remember, since I was little. I hate authority. I really hate authority, y'all. So, like, I hate when people tell me what to do. It's just not me. You feel me? It's not me. It's never been me. My mother could tell you it's never been me. All the times I've been doing this, you would think I know. I always have trouble on this side. You less down for the cause. What I say, you can't fight passive. Then there's also like a personal <clears throat> trigger in me. And on my dad's side, they're mostly brown and, and dark skin. So I will always be around them growing up. And they will always make you feel like, you know, well, me, out of place. And I hate to say that, but it's true. They made me feel out of place. 
and especially my father. He would always be like, I live with white people, me and my mom. And I heard his father wasn't the nicest person around. And he would always be like, make sure that's your child. And then growing up, I always be like, I wish I was, you know, a little darker. I don't look like my dad's side that much. I don't. And I always feel out of place. So, <clears throat> that's the little trigger point for me. The situation we have, yes, we. As America, as the, you know, United Nations we supposed to be. Our peoples in Sudan. Sudan? Is it Sudan or Sudan? I think it's Sudan. Y'all, they having such a crisis. There's people... I, I don't know if it's the uh, military out there or the authority. It's the authority. They, um... I don't know if it's their president or their emperor. I don't know. I forgot what they call it. But they say he stepped down or something. And that's when everybody started acting crazy. That reminded me of one episode of Everybody Hates Chris when Caruso was not a bully no more. And everybody started jumping off. I feel like once their little leader said deuces or I don't know if he was just banished. Um, that's when stuff started popping. Oh. Got kids and women being, you know, tormented, raped, and they think it's okay. That's the that's the thing. They think it's okay. Like, where you? What makes y'all think? How dare you? Who do you think you are? Making trauma for these people. And it's like, what can we do all the way out here? Especially because I'm broke. I could barely help myself <laughs> and it's like what can we do out there besides make posts you know in videos like i don't know and they said change your avatar to blue or something but it's like it's social media it's social but then social media does make an impact they got the women and children being tormented then you got the protesters out there they killing them, y'all. They are killing them. Throwing them in the Nile River. It was supposed to be peaceful in the, at the Nile, whatever. I, that's what I heard. But they throwing them away. There's no clean resources. It's like, what is going on? I don't know why I'm surprised about it, but we're living in hell. What color should I do? This. Under... Maybe it is, and then add a splash of that. This is the Revolution palette. I got it from Ulta. I need to go back there. Just tape because that's my little hack. But y'all, this generation got me messed up. Dang, my eye hurt. <laughs> okay. On this generation, nobody knows how to support each other. Generation, this generation is sad, y'all. And that's why I don't be claiming it. I don't. I don't know nobody that's doing this. <laughs> they are the generation. Um, nobody knows how to support each other. Like if you like, I'm I'm so grateful to the ones that ever supported me. Like you know, reposting me. Like I love y'all for that. And it'd be young peoples that don't even you know support you like. That's the funny thing. Me and my mom was just talking about that. Like, so-called family don't know how to, you know. You know. That's why when I find support, I'm just so grateful. Because I know people can't get a lot of it these days. And then when you, like... See, with me, it's different. You ask me to, you know, review something, share your platform whatever review a song like i have a lot of music people on here so when they ask me to you know can you look at my song can you react to review it i'm like that's a bet because we could all shine it's all about connections we could all shine out here like y'all tripping and then it'd be the ones 
that you see daily I'm praying for you yada 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 but what type of praying are they doing like in reality oh i see what you're doing i see what you're doing you're like oh really i couldn't tell i couldn't tell everything is about reposting all that like if it's kind words also like you see your man's or your girl doing something you know popping tell them that it's like much they don't the generation is full of cowards y'all like what pop say you win some you lose some but you live you live to fight another day like y'all obviously didn't didn't watch that part of the movie like people so quick to you know pull out a gun like for what because you feel disrespected that's the best you got that's the best you got over a few harsh words that's why you pull out a gun to end somebody else's son's daughter's life because you you mad y'all kill me y'all y'all should go to Saddam. that's what y'all like i don't get it that's kind of cute right there okay i see you dream relationships <laughs> Some of these people be so funny from what I'm witnessing. Relationships. Like you got all these people out here doing these other people out here wrong. I'm not saying they bad people doing good people wrong. But y'all gonna feel me in a second. Say you got girl A, girl B. No. But let's say you got wifey. You know, that's the girl that know your family that you go home to. Got her. And then you got Bula on the side. Bula, the one you met, you having a good time with her. You know, nothing too serious. But you feeling her. You want to get to know her some more. So say you are not telling Bula about wifey. Like, that's being unfair. You should tell her that you got a wifey. Y'all get it? Like, say I'm Bula. If you got a wifey or some. Let me know that. Like, let me know that. I should have the benefit of knowing if you got somebody else on the side or whatever. You never know. I might be into it. But I'm not saying, like, every person going to be into it. I, the worst they could say is no. No, thank you. I'm not into it. But let the person know that. Say I'm wifey. You got other girls out here, you know, thinking y'all just, you know, all in love. I thought somebody was coming out the okay let me know that you got like other girls out here like it's not that hard like that just mean i'm not gonna stay up in the house not saying i'm like this but you know let me know if you got somebody else out here so i can have a good old time myself all y'all gotta do is be honest to people like get people that match your character if that makes sense y'all keep getting the wrong people involved with you Yo, do you, you know, like, I ain't gonna say I know everything and and I'm living by the G code or whatever, but you know, it's not that hard. But I ain't gonna say I'm not like confusing or I'm indecisive because I am, but I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Girls are super weird. Like, they don't like each other over dudes. I think I'll finish y'all because of the way you look. You feel like I know I got a mean look sometimes, but that don't mean I am mean. Like all you gotta do is say hi, and I'll be like hi. I'm not the type of girl that don't say hello. Okay. I look like it, but I'm not. That was she pretty and ghetto. What was I saying? Oh, they don't like you because of the dudes you either mess with or you still messing with. Like, I can't tell you how many times girls are being judged because of the dudes they talk to. Like, like what? Um, they don't like you because of dudes. Like, girls out here be wanting to fight over dudes. Fight over dudes. Like, they not worried about their money like they say they is. They not worried about their kids like they say they is. And then it's like, I'm over here. And then I'm over here worried about if I'm ever see Black Wall Street like rebuilt, like before my time is up. And then people don't have motivation. And I understand why they don't have motivation. 
but it's like we still fresh to the game the people i know we still new like we still in our 20s and like and there's no motivation like y'all don't want to do nothing be us i'm trying to see everybody prosper no no race no gender you know but it's like y'all don't want to do nothing and i'm over here worried about I need, like, I need to do something. If it happened, if I don't do this by 25, 30, like, my head is just filled. Filled. And then my mom was like, she brought up this thing. Our mind is like a computer. Like, we don't have stuff. We can't get nothing erased, rebooted, updated, like, none of that. So it's like, how are we doing this? How are we living out here? Living out here. We some we some survivors, so I know we could do stuff if we really put our minds to it. But anyways, y'all, that's the end of my little, you know, get ready with me, right? Um, I wonder should I just keep this on because I like it. Like, comment, hug that red button for me if y'all got any opinions on what I just said. Let me know. I can tell from your mouth that you're begging me. See it in your eyes that you.